Okay, so I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it with the mic and see what happens. Let's see here. I haven't used this guy in a while because I've had so many issues with it. I just said, you know, shoot, I'm not going to do it. But if I can get it to work, it would be in my best interest. So now I can zoom in and out with this. That's something. Okay, so I'm here at another cemetery. And I apologize for the noise. I can't do anything about it. This is the Cimetière de Vaugirard. It is a military cemetery, from what I understand. They have this little military plaque up here. Just kind of looking at the things that aren't allowed. And they have like a little entrance gate over here. Off to the side here are some billboards. Let's see. Just taking a look to see what's what before I get started. This is the map. And on these maps, they actually have, I believe these are um, like famous people who are buried in each section. Here you go, it's a larger map. Mm. They even give you some information about how to get here, but I mean, like, I'm already here, so. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and get started, and I think I'm gonna record separate sound on my phone just in case, because I really don't know if this mic is picking up anything, and if it is what it's picking up. Um, so at least if I have a backup sound kind of happening here, It'll be better because this camera is definitely better than my cell phone for recording, but I cannot seem to get the sound right on here. And I do apologize before we really get into this. Um, it's another windy day. Nothing I can do about it. Um, the wind seems to like to follow me around when I go to these cemeteries, so that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> All right, so. We start off, you can see as we look at the ground, it's really fairly manicured considering this is like cobblestones. <laughs> Very widely spaced apart cobblestones. Um, over here on the wall, this is like a little columbarium, I guess. It's very cool, the natural growth that's happening in the background. And that's neat, the one here that has the picture on it. That looks like it was a little washed out by the sun at one point in time. Now it's in the shade and covered up, but in the past that probably wasn't the case. I see some fake flowers down there too in like containers. Um, so got a little bit of real and fake happening here, which is cool, I guess. And as I've told you in my previous videos, I am not an expert in French cemeteries. I just like to walk and see what I see. And if you love cemeteries, you are welcome to walk along with me um, through watching my videos. 
can see here, as we saw in other cemeteries, these purple plants, which smell okay. I thought it was lavender, but now I'm not so sure because it doesn't really smell like lavender, but it could be some version of it. Um, and there are bees everywhere. They really like these purple plants. Um, so I wonder if this cemetery is part of that, like, citywide approach that we saw in the Mont Rouge Cemetery to um, revitalize some of the insect life and some of the natural plant life. There's more of the columbariums over here. These almost remind me of the mur végétal that exists like around the Musée du Croix Branly because um, it's like a giant wall of like flowers, right? <laughs> and we have similar things happening here. I've never seen this done before, um, but it's kind of neat. Got some more here. You can see we haven't even gotten into like the cemetery proper yet. We're just right along the main entrance, right along the main gate. This gate borders the road that I came up on. I actually didn't even realize that I had hit the cemetery. I saw a um, sign for a shop that was like a mortuary shop and I was like well usually they put those around cemeteries and then lo and behold <laughs> there was the cemetery all right so up here let's see if I can get my camera to cooperate gosh I'm out of practice with this thing y'all I haven't used it in such a long time there zoom in so we have one of those um, boxes probably maybe for birds it's hard to say there's nothing on it to indicate what it's for I know they had those for insects in the other cemetery um, but they also do support bird life too so I'm not sure I have no idea what this is uh, it's locked up so clearly it goes down below I wonder if there's like an underground something here like maybe you can access the crematory place like underground because um, that looks like it looks big enough to like set a casket or something on it and then lower it down on like a a little like elevator thing <laughs> to somebody that would be waiting underneath to do whatever I don't know there's nothing here to tell me what's what so it's just a guess uh, if you know what that little shoot might be for Go ahead and leave a comment help me help me understand because I'm really not sure it's the first time I've seen that in a cemetery um, here so far but this is also my first visit to a military cemetery don't know what this little place is here all right so we're gonna get started on the actual cemetery itself Just checking out some of the cool things we see. And hopefully using this camera um, will be easier for y'all. It'll be easier for me when I edit, that's for sure. <laughs> that is interesting. I almost wish I could hire like a camera person because I'm working like three different devices right now. <laughs> Just looking down the road back towards the entrance. So in the last video I shot, I had a friend from my French class with me. Her name is Z, and um, she tagged along and was sharing with her that I love 
French cemeteries because it's like one of the few places in Paris, maybe in all of France, I'm not sure, where you can go to the bathroom free of charge. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to pay any euros. <laughs> you can just go right on in. Look at that. How neat is that? I love seeing like the massive size of these things. I still don't have a name for something like this. Um, I know there is a name for it. I can't even zoom out anymore to get that like in the full <laughs> screen. I know there's a name for it. Uh, I've been told it before, but I cannot remember. Y'all will find out in these videos. I just do not remember vocabulary unless I use it every day. Let's see some interesting stuff happening around this front panel. These pathways are much more even than some of the ones I've been to in other cemeteries out here, at least right now. I mean, I can look clear down this road and it, it's really straight and level for the most part. Oh, wow. Look at that guy over there. It's like a giant book. How cool is that? So today, I guess I'm on a mission to find things that are unusual, things I haven't seen in other um, cemeteries in Paris so far. I figured a military cemetery would be good since I haven't done one yet, um, just to get a feel for what those look like. I've never worked at a military cemetery in um, the United States. I did apply to work at one once um, and they offered me the job, but the, I was still in school and the schedule just didn't work out. So unfortunately I had to turn it down. Um, we had thought we could work through it, but we couldn't. So there's that. <laughs> but that would have been cool to like work out in Arlington, you know. But I have been to a lot of military cemeteries, so I'm familiar with how they look in the United States. Uh, so far, I'm not seeing anything here that looks like what I'm used to. <laughs> in fact, this cemetery doesn't even look like the pictures they had online, but it is the correct cemetery. So I can only guess that there's another section somewhere that I haven't gotten to yet. Kind of looking out over everything. Big giant cross over there. Along with the uh, cutoff column. Oh, I thought that was a fake crow. That is a real crow <laughs> on top of that cross. <laughs> All right. This cemetery does not appear to be frequented by a lot of people. I have seen no one since I set foot in here. That is unusual, at least in my experience so far. Um, oh, that's cool. I want to walk over there. We'll see if we can circle around. Um, yeah, usually I see people as soon as I enter in through the doors or the gates of the cemetery. Uh, any idea what that is? Anybody, anybody? Leave me a comment if you know, because I do not know. I do not know at all what that is.
Okay, I do not think I'm gonna go straight back. I think I'm gonna do like a zigzag kind of thing. A little circle around it means I might cover some ground twice, but that's okay. And I apologize if the camera is set too high or too low. I'm trying to keep tabs on it. Um, the screen on this camera is really small and it's extremely sunny out today. And when it's sunny like this, it's difficult for me to see what I'm working with. I could connect this to my phone, but I kind of want to save my battery power. <laughs> All right, we have here, let's see, I can back up. Something that is unusual, not unusual, but something I usually see in cemeteries in the United States, um, even ones that are well cared for, is this damage to like the, the gates or the fencing around the burial. And I apologize, this thing is on a gimbal, but it's not straightening up and I don't know why, and that's okay. And you can see the rust, it's pretty bad and this side piece, I don't even know what that's like, what's holding it up. It's not really connected to anything. <laughs> I guess it's just sort of precariously placed <laughs> so that it stays up. But I mean, the wind is blowing and everything and it's not even wiggling. So I don't know, maybe it's okay. Wow, look at that tree. Sorry about the sun, it's so bright. I need sunglasses for my camera. <laughs> that is a epic tree. I wonder how old it is. I'm seeing like bits and pieces of old shell in the ground as I walk. Um, and I also see down here Someone has left some shell down here. And it looks like there's some cleaner over here. Um, kind of odd to see in a cemetery. Uh, nothing looks like newly cleaned. So I don't know if they're actually using that out here. If someone just like accidentally set it down and forgot about it. One thing I can say is I have yet to see any kind of cleaning going on in the French cemeteries so far. Hey, got the necessary trash bags. Something I often don't see in cemeteries in the United States is somewhere to put trash, which is kind of bad because if you don't want people to leave trash everywhere, you have to give them somewhere to put it. Wow, check out the biological growth on this guy. Y'all experts out there, tell me, what makes this one <laughs> so covered and these ones that are all around it not? I mean, I can see there's sort of a different material. These are like the finished granite around it. And this one here is definitely not finished. It's very rough. Could be because of the age, but I have no idea the, the date because I can't see it. I mean, this thing is completely covered. Oh, wow, look at this. That's a cool kind of stone. I guess that's what marble of some kind or some kind of swervy, curvy granite. <laughs> Very cool colors, pink and gray like that. Yeah, I think if I had to guess, I'd say that was actually granite. This is neat. Let me see if I can back up without tripping. the 
top of that. That is very, very cool. <laughs> huh. I wonder if I can get a better picture of it. I'm going to walk around here. And because these headstones are placed, or these burials are so close together, as I've pointed out in multiple videos now, um, because they're so close together, it's quite difficult sometimes to get a good view of really cool headstones and such. So I keep trying. Um, but yeah, it can be very difficult. It looks like the back of this is open, so I might walk around and see what it says on the back, but it's going to take me a while to get over there. So I have to go down and around. Oops, sorry, I think I just hit the mic. Hopefully this mic is working. I've got it like way, way up close to my voice box. <laughs> um, it's very frustrating to shoot, you know, an hour, two hours of video, and then you can't really hear it. I have to do a lot like after the fact, I guess when I'm editing and everything, I have to do a lot to the sound to make it audible sometimes. And that's super frustrating. I'll walk through here. Now, I wonder if this cemetery uses that same um, thermal weeding practice as the Mont Rouge Cemetery that I visited before. Um, it doesn't, like things look more green here, so I'm not sure, or maybe they don't need to do it as often. As usual with these things, we've got some damage happening. I wonder why that happens with these guys. Something about a blue door in a cemetery, it really stands out. Y'all want to do something unique and original. Get a blue door. <laughs> Put it on your headstone, your mausoleum, your whatever. I'm not sure why they really stand out. I guess because everything is sort of like gray and brown, green. So to see a different color is kind of nice. As usual, I haven't done any research before visiting the cemetery. I thought about it, but I definitely like showing up and not knowing anything and then learning about it like after the fact. Look at the gold leafing on that. Literal leaves in gold leaf. <laughs> the sun is hitting it just right. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna take a picture with my camera. All right, moving on. So it's kind of starting to feel like you see one cemetery in Paris, you've seen them all. <laughs> um, after visiting some of the largest cemeteries and now some of the smallest cemeteries, um, it's all starting to look very familiar except this is just so cool. This is the back of that little castle one we were looking at earlier. Little gothic thing going on here. It's cool with the cross inside. I don't know if you see that because it's uh, in shadow and the sun is not really hitting it well to get a decent look at it. All right, moving on. You can see there's still a hole section like over there that we haven't gotten to yet. I'm still just on one side here. Let's go out to the main road.
There's a very stern looking gentleman back here. We'll go check him out. See what's what. Oh, as I get closer, he doesn't look quite so stern. He actually looks slightly happy. Oh, it's two people. So we have this guy, Mr. Burger. He's a martyr? Wonder martyr for what? Look at that. It's very cool looking. And then we've got right across from him. And I'm not sure what this symbol is behind it. If anybody's familiar with that, go ahead and drop a message in the comments. Let me know. I wonder if it's something like connected to Catholicism or I don't know. Edgar Trouillet. Oh, they've got like this guy's whole educational life on his headstone. That's something. The wind is picking up again. I do apologize if it's uh, loud in the mic. I'm recording in two different places, so I know it's going to be loud on my phone mic. I just don't know if it's loud on the mic for this camera or not. Um, can I get through here? Let's go for it. Try not to get stabbed by anything. Oh, this guy's just wide open here. And we see these, um, I used to wonder like, what's inside? It's gotta be something special or amazing or whatever, but in fact, they're all pretty boring. I mean, boring in that it's nothing unusual, nothing, you know, there's no big secret. It's just a place to come and be alone with your loved ones. You have some privacy. And uh, yeah, it's kind of it. You can see across the way here is residential. So all of these homes overlook the cemetery. It's very, very residential out here. In fact, I can hear people like talking to their kids and preparing meals because it's just around lunchtime and the kids are out of school. Well, some kids just got out of school here. I don't know. They've been out for a while in the U.S., probably getting ready to go back this giant piece of rock <laughs> caught my attention. Uh, it is being swarmed by bugs though. There are little no flying everywhere. So I don't know what that's about. Um, I'm gonna move from this area cause I don't want any creepy crawlies on me. I've got bug bites everywhere on me. I don't know if it's from hanging out in the cemeteries or if they're coming in my room. I haven't seen a lot other than ladybugs in my room. Okay, here's something unusual. Okay, I don't know what just happened with my camera. I'm not sure how much that y'all actually heard. It just like completely restarted. But hopefully, <laughs> I think it did that before, but it just continued to record consistently. It's kind of hot out here. I know my phone is overheating, so I don't know if the camera is too. Um but hopefully I'm not having any technical issues. I'll tell you, so many things happen on these little cemetery walks that I never anticipated. <laughs> Was not prepared. Well, this is interesting. We have some wild growth down here. Coming up to this quite beautiful angel.
I'm just kind of looking down the pathway. We've covered all that ground back there. Which you can see, everything is fairly normal, fairly similar to what we've already seen in the other cemeteries I've visited. In fact, this cemetery doesn't have any grand sculpture, no huge like statement piece. It's got a couple of these like, uh, let's see, that thing there is very tall. And there's one like back near the entrance that's also very tall. Um, but it doesn't really stand out in any way. Um, not that cemeteries have to have a giant, you know, artistic statement piece. Um, I just have noticed that that seems to be the case here, except in this cemetery, it's not. You can see the wall. Got some dead ivy on it. And <laughs> some living ivy. I believe that conducting ivy growth in France is like some kind of art form because it looks very purposeful here. Wow, look at all the people that are buried here. I don't know if you can see. We've got one, two, three, four. There's one at the top up there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine people. The most recent burial being 2009. The oldest being 1927. Well, there you go. This little sculpture piece over here caught my attention. I keep seeing these kind of swirly, curvy things. Look at that. It almost reminds me of like a mother and child or something like that. Let's see if I can get a good angle here on it. And I don't know, um, let's zoom out here. I don't know if those are placed on headstones of mothers with their children or what. Um, there's two names on here, Carmen and Madeline. Um, one lived to be 94, the other was 90. So they both lived pretty long life. It's just seeing if there's any other names over here, but I don't see any. All right, we'll move on. One thing that's cool has nothing to do with the cemetery, but these buildings in the background. As I am a historic preservation student and I'm constantly looking at the architecture and I love to see the changes in building materials over time. And this is just beautiful to see. Um, I don't actually know like what's going on, why there's been so many changes, um, but I think it's quite fascinating. I think it would be very hard to study like the history of, of the architecture of these buildings in Paris. Maybe that's an easier thing to do in the United States because our buildings aren't that old and they haven't been through that many changes. But in Paris, I can imagine that might be quite difficult because it feels like everything is historic here, honestly. Let's see a little clearing area over there. I'll check it out on my way out. Yeah, my devices are definitely overheating. Albert. I can't see the last name. It's like part in shadow. Batanier? Batanier? Artist and painter? Of course, it says that in French, not in English. Ah, here we go. So we have the separation of a hedge. 
Um, and then we have entrance into what appears to be, let's see if you can see there, um, the military section. And this is more what I'm used to seeing uh, when you talk about a military cemetery. All of the markers are very uniform. I actually don't know if it's okay to walk down the middle or not. Um, I didn't realize there's ones here too. These are not open pathways. Like if you can see here, there's a, there's a clear border that runs down this pathway um, all the way straight down. And there's no openings into the inside. Whereas over here to the right, there's no border at all. So you can freely walk and explore. Um, so I'm not sure of the rules, but then I also see monuments out here in the middle. So maybe it's okay. Um, we'll see for now. I'm going to stay off on the side. We can look just as well from the side as we can from the front. Uh, let's see. This little guy says, um, souvenir Francais. It was like, remember the French or something. I have such a hard time with French, I tell y'all. It's on par with Latin for me. <laughs> Let's see, this guy died in 1918. All of these look to be 1918 burials. And honestly, I don't even know if there's um, remains here. A lot of times from war, they couldn't identify remains. And so they would just put like, you know, honorary memorial post up. This almost looks like a vineyard, you know? Like with the plantings in front of it and like the straight rows as if it was like a fence with ivy or something growing on it. Um, not sure what that is. Something sitting on top. And I'm hearing an odd sound behind me in the cemetery, but I'm not seeing anything. And it stopped. Every time I look back, it stops. I don't know what it was. I've heard like zero sounds like from inside the cemetery. All the sounds have been from external sources, like the building that's happening in the background or the, the daily life stuff happening over there. But this is the actual sound here in the cemetery. Um, sounded almost like bugs or something. There it is again. Is it crickets? It's just weird because it was so completely quiet and then suddenly it wasn't. I don't know. I just don't want any machinery or anything coming up behind me. <laughs> okay, what is this? I don't know what this is. Some of them have names, some of them don't. Um, and then we have the French flag. Definitely hear the sound from the flagpole there. That is not what I was hearing before. There goes that sound again. You know, it reminds me of a sprinkler, like when the sprinklers turn on. If you're walking somewhere through somebody's yard or something and suddenly the sprinklers come on, that sort of water shooting out sound. But there's no water. <laughs> there's nothing. Anyway. That's kind of interesting. So many names up there. There's like 13 names on the big white part. And then there's more, there's writing on like every part of this monument. Oh my goodness. Sepulcher Boyer. Hmm. Okay, here we go again, y'all. Um, more stuff I don't understand. I don't know what this is. Um, it's locked. It can definitely be opened. 
I can see some sort of something inside there. It's like an open fenced part. So I don't know. I don't know. I imagine this is somehow connected to the one I saw at the entrance. But I don't know what it's about. And it's right by this giant monument. So it's kind of odd placement, you know? Um, hmm, I'm curious about that. I don't know. But there's a giant monument here. Invalides du Claire in Hume dans l'ossuaire. Maybe it's an ossuary somewhere. Maybe that's what's underneath here. <laughs> Last night I spent some time researching um, the colored infantry that is buried in France near Normandy. Um, I was hoping to take a trip actually but it's uh, three to four hours by walking by train two different kinds of trains fast train and slow train um and then when you finally get anywhere it's like another hour by car and i'm not sure that once i get out there i will be able to get back because the cemetery itself is huge it's like the largest um, military cemetery from what I've read in like all of Paris or something and um, it didn't look like there was any cities or anything around it so if I got a taxi to take me out there I don't know how it would get back I'm walking across here just to look at this anybody familiar with this like what this is Bel Hussein uh, Laziz. I don't know. It's definitely unique. I think it's kind of cool looking. Kind of reminds me of some of the Muslim stuff that I've seen on other headstones. And it's interesting to me that um, this one and this one over here, they are very similar in their markings. This says he died 2013, 2012, 2019. This one is different from the others, 2017, so I don't know. Chardon Let me see what that means. Phone, translate for me. That's one benefit to like using the camera and the phone, because then I can translate while I'm <laughs> recording. Oh, okay. It translates to garden cinerary. Yo, that's another odd sound. Okay. I don't know what is going on. Something strange is following me around with sounds. <laughs> Maybe it's a bug who has become suddenly very interested in me. <laughs> oh, that's a bird. Excellent. Okay. Don't scare me, birdie. All right, let's keep going. I'm actually up in here now. <laughs> There's more of those... Um, unusual markings on those all along this back hedge. They're all very similar to the one that I showed you just a minute ago. Okay. That looks cool. This is definitely unique. Oh, 
Oh, look, there's like a drainage hole there. Interesting. It's the first time I've actually noticed that. They're probably everywhere. Yeah, now I'm seeing another one like down here. Ah, can we see it? Can we see it? Where'd it go? Hmm. It's hard to see on the camera, like right there. <laughs> The only thing with this little camera, y'all have to deal with my terrible camera skills. <laughs> the little one is much harder for me to use than my phone. With a phone, you don't have to do much. But um, this handheld one, you have to like really direct the camera. And it's small. I got a small one so I could travel with it um, and not have to carry, you know, a 10 pound camera <laughs> around with me. Um, it's even smaller than like a GoPro or whatever. And these all have the built-in flower pots or whatever you call them at the bottoms um, of their markers here. Oh look, a glove. And this is something I've seen at every cemetery where work is being done. That's all I can say. So somebody out here is working. <laughs> There's always a glove left behind. It never fails. And that person later will be like, where's my glove? Interesting. It's like ceramic flower parts in there. The shiny in the sun and everything. Like a new tree was planted and I'm just gonna squeeze through here. Oh, I just went through a cobweb. Nice. French spiders. I'm not gonna freak out. I'm just gonna like get it out my hair. <laughs> I always hate it when I'm watching YouTube videos and something happens and people like totally overreact with like screaming and stuff. Look at that, that's so cool. Huh, it's probably like a little courtyard in there. Wow, look at this. It's so big, let me back, 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 back up. There we go. Not that we can get a good view of it. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not very tall, so I <laughs> can't really get a good shot of it. But it's massive. Sean Juan Cornet, Chevalier de Légion d'Honneur. Fondateur Aumonier General des Scouts de France, 1860 to 1936. Etre Prêt. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's neat. Little faces of people. They look like books. Um, looks like they have some Bible verses on them. That's the first time I've seen that. I'm sure it exists. It's just the first time I've seen it here. Like the Bible verse written out on something around the headstone or the burial place. So it looks like even these ones over here are military burials as well. One thing I notice is when they do these names like this, um, they just put years, the name and the year. And a lot of times, like in America, you'll see the same thing, right? But more often what you see is some kind of information about the person. Um, mind you, all of these are like multiple burials. So there's a lot of stuff going on there. Um, and I say burial, but I also use that as like an all-inclusive 
term for any type of remains, including cremains. So please don't be confused by that. Uh-oh, this guy needs to be repointed. Needs some new mortar. But luckily for them, they have that little water spout to drain the water out that would get in there. <laughs> it's Mr. Picard. And y'all know by now probably my pet peeve about trees in the cemetery. I'm not even sure this is a tree. I'm not sure what this is. It's kind of like a out of control bush. <laughs> the butterflies like it though. So maybe that's why they leave it. Now here's a tree I don't have any problems with. Look at that. How original. It looks like it's made by hand. You can see the nails inside of it are rusted. It's old pieces of wood that have been just nailed together into the shape of a tree. What an original way to do that. I don't know if it's actually connected to the stone here. I don't know like what's holding it up. Excuse me. Oh, I don't know what's holding it up or anything. But I mean, the wind's blowing. It seems sturdy. It's not rocking or anything. So somehow it's it's holding itself up, right? I always worry about stuff like that, like if it falls over, what kind of damage it might do. And here we see the stones placed. This seems to be very common on um, like the Jewish burials is to see stones. Again, I'm no expert. I'm a student here trying to see what I can see. I have zero instruction um, regarding French cemeteries other than what I got last year with my study abroad group here in Paris. Um, and that was not really cemetery focused. We visited cemeteries. We talked about some very historic cemeteries, but ultimately we didn't get into like the details, you know. So I'm just making general observations, kind of seeing what I see and going from there. All right, we're moving on to the other side of the cemetery. I'm at about half battery right now. I do not want to lose my battery power. I have a battery backup, but if I put that on, I cannot use my mic. And I'm really hoping that this mic is working. I'm talking louder because there's no one around, but still it's a residential area. So I don't want to yell. If I can hear them, they can hear me. <laughs> um, this is an interesting, like a work shed or something. I don't know if it's for the cemetery or connected to that building. You can kind of see the monuments or the monuments, the memorial cemetery over there. I don't know what kind of bushes these are, but they look very green, almost like um, pine needles, like evergreen leaves. So I wonder if they stay green all year round. All right, this is the other side of the cemetery. Ugh arm is itching. I think something bit me. I deserve likes and subscribes because I'm facing death by insect for y'all. <laughs> oh, there's actual like horse flies out here. I see a big giant one. Y'all stay away from me. This is cool. Uh, the sun is in like a really bad spot right now. I do apologize. We just have to work with what we got. This one has um, fake flower placements. And I like these little teeny tiny steps. They're so small. I 
Oh my gosh, that scared me to death. I almost had a heart attack just now, right here. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously, Crow? I was already kind of creeped out because I keep hearing that sound I was talking about earlier. Whatever it is, is like following me through the cemetery. Um, I'm not going to pretend like, you know, there's a million of these bugs and like only one of them is making a noise as I walk by. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend like one is actually following me around either. Like, let me go where she goes. Could be happening. Ugh. Dude, I could see him up in the tree too. Um, but I don't know that like the sound is just kind of creeping me out a little bit because I can't see what's making it. It's constantly like out of my sight, but not out of my hearing. Mm, something just like ran down the wall. Yeah, it's a lot going on out here. <laughs> it's interesting. Troto to nu akite, que le ciel te donne la serenité. Que tu attente merite à mon espo. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I've got a uh, weird stuff happening here. Y'all can't see it, but there. Yeah, my sad French, I can make out like half of that. And then the rest is like question marks. So, yeah, well, I was going to try and zoom in for the butterfly, but he's busy. There's definitely not as much plant life and not as much um, insect life out here as I've seen in other cemeteries. But there's not as much damage either. It seems to be very well cared for. I mean, some of these are really old, right? But overall, it's, it's in good repair. People definitely seem to be caring for the space. I've seen a couple of issues. Um, didn't even really need to point anything out because uh, I can tell that, you know, stuff is just being taken care of. Um, there's some messy parts from these flowers and things people are leaving. Even these ones that have built-in places for flowers, people seem to be overloading them and like leaving more than there is space for. Some metals. There probably were more than what's there because I don't know why they'd leave that big space between them like that. See like this one? They usually line them up pretty carefully together. Yo, crow. Wonder if I can catch him on the camera. He was way up there. And he's a loud mouth. I know y'all can hear that. <laughs> Even if my mic is awful, I got a feeling you can hear him. He's so loud. You can see here a little mess of flower stuffs. What's this? I'll turn this kind of sideways so we can see. Interesting. Yeah, my devices are starting to malfunction from the heat and they're actually burning my hands, believe it or not. <laughs> yep, very hot in my hands. All right, let's keep going. We're coming up on the end anyway. We've looked at a lot of cool headstones today. Didn't really do much talking about the cemetery. Well, as I say that, there you go. There's one that needs some repair. <laughs> you can see the uh, 
little crack going across. Looks like it might have already been repaired once, but it needs it again. I've seen a bunch of stuff like that, you know. Someone's clearly fixing it. Someone's clearly aware of it. Um, but it's one of those things that is just going to continue to happen over time. I'm going to go across here and check this out. It's cool looking. Maybe we can see it from here. Look at the design on that. Let me zoom out a little bit. That's cool. Sort of gives me the feeling of like the infinite, you know, like life going on or that kind of thing. Get a picture with my phone because I think that's pretty cool looking. And we will keep on moving towards the exit. Here's something interesting. Looks like today our journey through the cemetery is focused more on like the <laughs> symbolism. We're finding a lot of unusual things. Anybody know what that is? Let's see, heart, faithfulness, our brothers in devoirs that homework. <laughs> <laughs> Devoir is, I guess, several meanings, like something you must do. I don't know. Let me see if I can translate it. Let's see. Heart, his brother's in duty. Okay, that makes sense. It's like something you must do. I didn't even think about the noun version of that. <laughs> and my phone is definitely not translating some of these words. Maybe they don't translate well. I don't know. Yeah, that top word is not getting translated. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just going to grab a picture of it because I think it's neat. If you know what that means, um, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know. If you know what any of the symbols on here mean, I might look some of these up later. I'm not familiar with like war symbolism. I think that might be um, connected to war, but I'm not positive. Um, there's a golfing guy here. All right, let's head back this way. So we make our way towards the entrance. I'm telling you, I have not seen one person. I'm the only living person out here. I'm trying to stay in the shade for a minute before I go back out. Because I see another cool thing up front, of course. Oh, that's something in my eye. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> oh, just had eye surgery last month, like right before I came to... Paris and now I'm like always getting stuff in my eyes I'm really concerned about like eye infections or my eyes getting scratched or things not healing properly uh, it's hard to believe that just a month ago I could not see without glasses and now it's not a problem all right y'all what is this I have no idea what that is. Uh, the color is beautiful. Gives me Egyptian vibes, which is kind of weird. I don't know even why it does that. Um, but I don't know what that like P looking symbol with the X across it means or what the crows are about. Um, maybe it's a crow because it is loud mouth crow that's out here. <laughs> don't know anyway it's heading up here towards this sculpture and I think I have to go this way to get to it I 
this guy. This is a really cool looking, I don't even know what to call this. Monument? Sepulcher? Like, I don't, I don't know what it is. It's beautiful. It looks like it should be a fountain. Like, there should be water running down from the top down here or something. It's just beautiful. Let me see if I can back up through here without breaking my neck. My neck. I can't talk. All right. Let's see here. Man, it's so big. There's the bottom of it. Lots of white rocks in there. It really stands out with all the black around it. Uh, looks like a little piece of face sticking off right there. Somebody took one of them rocks and put it on the, <laughs> the little marker right there. Urbaniste. What does that mean? So many questions. Yeah, that is odd. What in the world? I don't know what that is. It's like a nose and a mouth, but I, I'm not sure why it looks the way it looks. I don't know. Let me grab a picture with my phone here. Have to zoom way, way out for that. It's so unique. I definitely think that should be some kind of water feature. You can see that as a fountain for sure. All right, we're moving right along. I don't know if you can hear it. I've got some noise over here from uh, some kind of machinery. Could be an AC unit, could be like some kind of water thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't see like an outdoor AC thing, but there is like this big like metal machinery running down the wall. The sound is coming from over there. A helicopter. This is cool. <clears throat> The black with the gold in it is quite striking. You can tell it's fairly new compared to the ones around it. Oh, look at this one. This must be like, I don't know, Middle Eastern Muslim script. Uh, What's it called? Arabic? There we go. Something like that. I've seen it similar in my school because they teach Arabic in school and they're trying to promote people's interest in it. And so they offer like free courses in it after um, classes are over for the day. You can get like a couple free courses and then you can sign up to take the actual class later if you're interested. Keeping an eye on my battery here. That's cool. With the owl. For me, the owl is a little bit ominous because I'm a fan of the Randonautica YouTube videos that people do. And um, the owl comes up quite a bit in that. It's supposed to be like a sort of life changing thing. There's all these dead flowers down here. This is your grandmother, your mother. Mm -hmm. This is quite the memorial. There's several people's names on it. Look at the, uh, oh, that looks much better in the camera than it does like here in my own eyesight. You can see up the sides here, the decorations. It's interesting. Speaking of interesting, this guy. Cool little flower holders, like on the side, flower pot holders. 
It's so odd to me when I think about like the point of a cemetery for like, at least from Amer an American perspective to like remember people, um, to honor people, that kind of thing, to have a place to go, um, to just like be with your deceased family members. Um, but we make the names very prominent on our stones, our monuments, our markers. Um, but here, that doesn't, that's not always the case. Like this, there's no prominent name. The prominent thing is this big, giant flower holder. I'm not even sure like what it's called. Um, there is a name back there, you know, but I can't really uh, get over here to see see it uh, no not really so I just think that's interesting you know they're not all like that there's quite a few ah uh, this is cool um, it has the tile work this is the thing that got me interested in like tiles and stained glass and stuff to begin with in um, Paris the last time I visited and that has not changed <laughs> Ugh, my battery is like almost kaput y'all we're hanging in there but I don't know how much longer it's gonna last but when it ends it ends I guess and I'll finish up recording on my phone maybe uh, let me see we have this big giant guy here Quite beautiful. Let me see if I can get in here, get a better view. It's got lots of information on it that I'm not even going to try to read. long I've been in here I came in here with the full battery I think I've been recording a little over an hour this thing's supposed to last for two hours so I lost a little battery power somewhere I don't know if it's because of the additional heat that's happening out here or what Got a bunch of these little guys in the back. I always think these look like houses. Okay, that's definitely a bug. That sound is with me again. <laughs> There's a cork for a champagne bottle. And that actually sounds like a cicada, honestly. Cicada, cicada, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Make sure I'm still recording. We're still doing good. Okay. Oh, it's so much cooler back here. I came to see this. That is so neat. It says, I am the way, the truth, and the life in French. I don't know what the letters around his head mean, though. Like a W O H or something. And he's doing like the, the, kind of Buddhist hand symbol that I see with this right hand. Um, a lot going on there, <laughs> symbolism-wise, I think. 
All right, let's move on. I'm gonna hang out in the shade a little bit longer because it feels great. My devices are not the only things that are overheating right now. <laughs> All right, we are coming back up towards the entrance. This is a cute little building, actually. The cottage vibe going on. I'm telling you, I got to get out this cemetery. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's definitely some odd sounds happening out here that I'm just not familiar with. And it does feel like they're following me around, which is weird. All right, and we have our bathroom and water fountain. Oh, that's not a water fountain. I lied. That's san sanitizer. Don't drink that. <laughs> I said fountain because they do have a fountain somewhere. They said so at the entrance gate. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is close this up. And I'm going to see if I can charge this camera. Um, I have a goal to hit another cemetery today. I wanted to try and do two a day now that I've gotten through my major French test. Um, I don't have to do a whole lot of extra studying. And there's a lot of cemeteries around the area, some as far out as like 10 miles, which I can kind of get to with my Metro Pass and a whole lot of walking. <laughs> so I'm going to try and visit as many as I can during my final week. Hopefully that works out. But I'm going to see if I can charge this guy and my cell phone while I'm out um, walking to the next location. So I will see you in a minute. Bye.